Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we are taking a look at Cooking Simulator. The devs sent this over to me and said, hey, take a look at this physics-based cooking simulator. And I was like, that sounds ridiculous. So I want to try it. Um, it. It's been years since uh, games like Surgeon Simulator came out, and uh, that really showed me that uh, physics games are definitely their own genre, but they can be a lot of fun. So I think cooking uh, would be a good fit for that as well. So we're going to try this out. There's a few modes here. There's new game, uh, sandbox mode, and then also cooking school. I'm just going to jump into new game and we'll see how we do. You know, I reserve the right at any point to be like, oh wait, maybe we should have went to school. But uh, how hard could it be, right? Probably easy. Welcome to Cooking Simulator. As you've already noticed, the restaurant you've now employed in, uh, you're now employed in, does not have the greatest rating. Your task is to restore it to its former glory and reach the highest level of prestige. The last chef left the kitchen covered in sticky notes. Maybe they'll be of some use to you. Good luck! Do you want to follow tutorial during the first day? Probably, yeah. Otherwise, I won't know at all what to do. Hi, I'm the manager of this place. Since it's your first day, I'll show you the ropes. But before we start, three important things you need to know in case you get lost. One, key binding hints are always displayed in the bottom right corner of the screen. Sure. Two, during these, this tutorial, you can view your tasks in the bottom left corner of the screen. And three, this tutorial will autosave between stages. If you get lost or stuck, you can always go back. Seems good. Saving again. Hmm, looks like the last owner left this place in a sorry state. Get the phone. We need to call some professionals. Phone! What a mess. We need to get that gas cooker running ASAP. Follow the marker. Take the phone with you. Wow, it'll take ages to repair that thing. We'd better hire, so hire someone that's fast. While hovering over the cooker, use the uh, wheel to select a company, then press left-click to start. All right, so... So I go over here, and I get to choose... Okay. And it'll show me how long it'll take them. And I, I think how much they charge. So this will take 90 seconds. <laughs> Do it. Try not to go bankrupt. Almost everything in the kitchen costs money. Plates, products, and especially repairs don't take more than you need. And keep an eye on your balance. Once you're out of money, you're out of business. Okay, so that cost me some funds. But they're fixing it. One down, four to go. Uh, we still need to work on the other things. Okay, so we need to fix this. And again, these guys don't charge much and they're fast. Uh, it might break. <laughs> but, like, whatever. <laughs> it's cheap. This is also 37. It just takes a while. Uh, I'll do that for this. You can work on that, handyman. You seem to be fairly cost-effective. Alright, what else do we need to repair? The lower oven? Did I not do the lower oven? I didn't. Alright. He's busy. Okay, he can only repair so many things at once. Nice Corp. And the right fryer. Oh, these are all separate things. I'll let Nice Corp do this one too. Great job. Put the phone away. We won't be needing it anytime soon, I hope. Oh, sorry. Okay. Alright, no time to take a breather. This place is empty and we're going to do something about it. First, you'll need some utensils. Find the cardboard boxes, hover over one, and press left-click to open the shop. Select the utensils. And buy a blender. Blender. Sure. Good. Now put the blender away. You can carry only one thing at a time. Put the blender away? Put it down. <laughs> where? Just down? Where do I... Where do I, should I put the blender? I'm gonna put it over here. It will be faster if we move the box, hover over it, and press uh, E to pick it up. And put it on the countertop. Use the shop to buy uh, equipment from the list. Okay, so we need certain cooking equipment to make this work. Sure! Uh, bake tray. Buy. We also need two big pot. Oh, God. Just We need two big pots. Big pot! Use the shop to buy equipment. Yeah, I'm working on it. Buy. There's one big pot. There you go. I need another big pot. Big pot. OK. 
Okay, just go go over there. Thanks. We're also gonna need a cutting board. Right there we go. This is I can already tell it's <laughs> gonna be a mess. We need a knife! This is how people die. Perfect. Uh, a pan. Just put that over there. Perfect. And also a spatula. Wonderful. What could go wrong? That's not what I... Precise handling of tools in the kitchen is crucial. Holding on shift will open up new ways to manipulate whatever... No, no, I just want to put it on the counter. We've got the tools, but we don't have any recipes. Go to the laptop. Sure. All right, click on the recipe manager in the left side menu. Click on the not owned tab to open the recipe shop. Fried shrimp. Baked cod. Baked trout. Pork chops. Gazpacho. Steak with french fries. Uh, everybody freaking loves... Something. Buy a recipe for baked trout. Oh, you're gonna tell me what to do now? Oh, it's free. Is that why? Or because oh, it, it requires no chef points. Let's see, something easy I know. Buy salmon steak and boiled potatoes. Salmon steak. Salmon steak and boiled potatoes. Oh, there we go. And the last one, tomato soup classic. Buy it. Got it. That should do for now. We'll uh, improve our menu once the business gets rolling. Okay, because we are only selling three things. Exit the laptop. No problem. All right, repairs, utensils, recipes. Oh, yes, we'll need spices. Let's visit the shop. Click on spices and buy salt. Yes, we offer three things with salt. There we go. We are also going to need uh, some other things. Best we buy all of the stuff now. Black pepper. Cayenne. Oh, my God. Uh, dill, dried. Horseradish? Hells yeah, horseradish! It's poorer than my mouth. Uh, thyme? Seems good. Alright. Still need some liquids. <laughs> yes, I'll get some liquids out of this box. Liquids. Ch chicken broth? Sour cream and sunflower oil. I can make anything with these three ingredients. We're almost there. I believe you. I know it's important that you teach me how this works. Okay, I did my part. Let's see how well you will do with yours. I want you to serve me a baked trout. Well, at the end, I'll rate you, just as a regular guest would. Don't worry, you'll have some help. I asked a friend of mine to guide you through, through the process. Look, someone ordered a dish. Every time a client orders something, you will be notified in the upper left corner of the screen. Notifications will also appear when you only have a minute left to complete the dish. Oh, God. Right? We need a trout. Let's find the refrigerator, shall we? Literally find. Here it is. I found it. The fish should be inside. Open the door and buy one. Mind that each product costs money. You don't have to worry about supplies, but you still need to watch your spendings. It's a trout. Now put that trout on a cutting board. Well, here's one. The recipe calls for black pepper, dill and thyme, five grams each. Just pick up a spice container, target the fish, and press left to start seasoning. All right, black pepper. That's one. There you are. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Um, all right. So, enter context. Shh. <laughs> shake. 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 The recipe calls for black pepper dill in time. Five grams each. Shake. Shake. All right, that's five grams. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. Now give me, uh, what's the other one? Dill? How do I, do I have to put this down to pick? Oh, God. So, uh, come over here. Context. Chick, 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 chick. There we go. I'm the best. Basically culinary genius right here. And then, uh, time. All right. Context. Chick, 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 chick. Done. All right. Put trout on bake tray. Okay, pick up this little sucker, let's <laughs> bring him on over here. I did it. Now let's put that into the oven. We don't have to like, do anything to the bake tray. We don't have to like, boil it down or 
You don't want to cover it in tin foil or wh whatever. All right, put it into upper oven. All right. Uh, do do boop 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 boop. Let's put that into the oven. Okay. Note you can use many trays at the same time. All right. So I just put container down. Use the top dial to turn the oven. I should probably close the door. Uh, the bottom dial regulates the power. Best leave that alone for now. I will never again put the fire extinguisher into the oven chamber. Oh God. Uh, all right. Switch. Now we leave it in for 90 seconds. We need a lemon. Buy one. How do I know when 90 seconds is up? How will I... Will it tell me? Is it going to evenly cook being on the bottom? I did, buy one lemon. All right. Buy a lemon. Is that in here? Yes, we need a lemon. How do I crouch? Can I... Oh, I have to open this drawer. Lemon! Place it on the cutting board. Get out of here. I probably shouldn't leave this open. Everything will spoil. Uh, cutting board... Blump. Now use the knife to cut the lemon into four pieces. Try to make them even. Oh, God. All right, context. Oh, God. Uh, okay. No problem. Just gonna ro rotate this around here. Cut. Oh, Lord. Cut. I did pretty good. In my, in my humble opinion. I'm not gonna wash that off. Okay, what do I do with this? You gotta, you gotta advise me. Has it been 90 seconds? That looks done. Oh, turn this off. Is that off? Will that, will I burn myself? I assume I automatically understand how to use, like, gloves. <sighs> Prepare lemon quarters. Baked trout. Baked trout. Is it not baked? Is it not done? I, I assumed. Are you sure? You pop okay. I'll put the, I'll pop it back in. I just I did I was worried, man. I was worried it was how how do I get it how do I get it in get it in the Christ, please p there. Back on. So is this keeping track of the stuff? I guess so. So I'm just waiting on the tr on the trout to bake. I kinda I kinda rushed the <laughs> rushed it a little bit there. Now you know how we lost our prestige in our oven. It's up to you to fix both. The oven is easy to manage. I suggest you make use of those metal plates. Remember to always heat the oven up before baking anything inside. Well, piss. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You gonna tell me when this trout's done? Buy a plate. You can quickly transfer products into a held container, even when they're hot, by pressing that. Use that knowledge to transfer trout onto the plate. Buy a plate. Uh, plate. Products. Plate. Utensils. Plate. Where do I buy a plate? Buy a plate. Where do I buy a plate? I clearly need a plate. Plate, plate, plate. Do I just, where's it? Oh, that's a plate. Okay, small plate, basic. Buy a plate. It's probably like a big, big plate, deep plate, bowl basic. B -b Got it, okay. Okay, so I open this and then I transfer this, I think. Pick up product. Did it. We finish off the trout by seasoning it with five grams of horseradish. Perfect. Throw that down there. Bada bing, bada boom. Enter context. Got it. Pick up the plate with the trout. Now pick up the lemon quarters, target them, and use the thing to expand your pickup range. So target, and then grab them. Dropped one on the floor. Is that okay? Just Pop that right back up on there. Um, there was... Is that all four of them? Where's the other lemon... Oh, is that the lemon quarter? Just kind of left that... So, well, don't worry about it. Finally pick up some fresh parsley onto the plate. Six grams for two for... Par Where's the parsley? Parsley. Parsley. You must be parsley. Byproduct. Let me just toss that in there. Uh, put it in container. Here we go, six grams. Oh, did I not buy six grams? What, what the piss I buy? Oh, two. God, son of a pisser. Oh, I got it. Hold on. I'm getting it. Oh, I gotta do it one at a time. <laughs> ah! Merit, take that. Let me get some more. Darn it. Got it. All right, cool. This has cost me all my sanity, but it's done, baby. Look at this. Good. The dish is done. Now you need to serve it. Put it on the checkout shelf. 
boom. Click on the checkout app and select the order you wish to complete. Uh, serve dish, take a photo of your dish. No, it's, it's a this, big trout, boom. Wow, I did good, I think. That's pretty good. It tasted okay. No one even noticed I dropped one of the lemons on the ground. Wonderful. I made 40 C guest complaints. Flavor was perfect. Technique, temperature perfect. Oh my God. That's it for today. Tomorrow we'll be open for business, so do your best. Oh God, well, I'm probably gonna ruin this soon. After each day, you'll be presented with a summary of progress the restaurant made. Our goal is to reach full five-star fame rating. As you can see, there's still a lot ahead of us. Oh, and please don't go bankrupt. Why would you worry about that? And there's also an experience point system. Okay, uh, so get additional three skill points, fast feet, hold down space to walk. That's weird, space? Holding down shift to freeze items in place while cutting. Unbreakable plates, plates will never break. Refund, re refund in order to save your fame score. Long reach, longer reach when picking up and putting down items. Your arms will grow longer. <laughs> oh my god. Pick up and carry hot ingredients in your hands. I'm going to do that anyway, so I should probably have that. And dish income boost. Points available three. Quest reward boost. You earn more cooking points. Experience boost. Chain four plus stars. Frame. Okay, so there's all these things that you can get. I'm just going to go for something simple. Uh, dish income boost. Level up. Done. Day two in the kitchen. <laughs> Easy. Easy, man. Are you as excited as I am? Remember, everything you serve today will affect our reputation. Let's do this. Let's make this the best restaurant in the city. This is what we call the preparation phase. The name should tell the story. No orders yet, but you can use anything in the kitchen to prepare for the day. I'm ready. Make sure to get uh, to prepare the ingredients you'll be using. Getting a head start on some of the dishes is also a good idea as long as you know what you're doing. <laughs> you know what else? It's a great opportunity to review the laptop. Okay. Let's pick up where we left off yesterday. Open the skill manager. Okay. Skills provide you a small way. If you didn't spend your skill points yesterday, you can do so now. But I did, because I'm smart. So ain't no thing. Some skills become available once a restaurant gains enough fame. So they want me to, like, prepare. Because, like, the clock's going to be ticking. And then people are going to come into the restaurant. You can even reset all your skills and spend your SPs differently. But that's going to cost you some money. Yeah, I don't need to do that. I'm, I got this. Once you're done here, head on over to the, the Perk Browser app. Oh, should I? Okay. Perk Browser. Where's that? Perk bra Browser app? Per what? Open Perk Browser app. Oh, this. <laughs> you can review already owned perks and which level? Okay. I got it. I think that's all. You can exit laptop. Cool. We need to open right away. Let's get cooking. Well, time really flew on that laptop. I thought you might still need me today, so I'm here. But only for today. Don't get to attack. I can do this. First order is salmon steak with boiled potatoes. All right, find a big pot. I got one. So uh, first fill it with about a liter of cold tap water. Where's the sink? Is this a sink? Which one's a sink? Is this a sink? That's a sink. Put container down. Put, push, put this there, cold. How much does it need? One liter? Ha! I'm the best. One liter. All right, now what? Where do I put this? In the oven? Add salt to big pot. Oh, of course. Uh, salt. Your salt. Are you salt? Your salt. Uh, context. 20 gr- Oh. Get up in there. Finally go and buy two potatoes while holding the pot. Okay, uh, put that down, grab this thing, buy two potatoes from the potato thing that I could just purchase. One, two. All right, place the pot on the cooker and boil for 120 seconds. Okay, so put container down. Should I, I should probably start it, right? 
Which one's which? That was the wrong one. Son of a... Okay. We're 120 seconds. It's going. Uh, okay. Open refrigerator. Got it. Get salmon. Here it is. Place the fish on a cutting board. Do I ever have to clean these? Uh, season it with salt and black pepper. You can check the recipe on any display for the precise amounts. Okay. So, will it tell me how much it needs? Uh, season with five and five. Five. Get out of my life. Black pepper. Here we go. Got it. This recipe calls for frying in oil, so we'll need a pan. Find one. I did it. I'm the best. Place it on the cooker. Let's do that behind there. That fit really well. Um, glad I did. Can I just, just put it here? Because that makes more sense anyway. Get get over there. What, what was it you wanted me to do? Sunflower oil. Yes. Of course. Sunflower oil. Let's do it in here. Pour some sunflower oil. How much do I need to do? Tilt the bottle. How? What? what? How do I tilt the bottle? Oh! Oh my god. A little bit too much, but otherwise it's fine. It's pretty good. Alright, go over there. Lord God. Uh, on. Heat's on. Put salmon filet on pan. Uh, yes. <laughs> I have... <laughs> I didn't spread out the salt and pepper at all. It's just in a... <laughs> it's in a stack in the middle. Fry the steak for 60 seconds. Okay, so this is showing me how long... Soup. Wait, what? Soup sauce? What? Why does it say... Why did it say soup and then it says sauce? So I just... Oh god, I left this open again. Sorry. Not good at... What is this? Here you most... Don't tell me how to do my job. Things are going well. Things are going... I, I, I was worried for nothing, really. Oh, is that what this is for? Oh my god, it's a timer. Son of a... I'll get back to that and leave that on the floor. Uh, okay, this is... Looking good. Looking good. Switch stacking. What is that? Use the spatula to flip the steak. What spatula? What spatula? Oh god. Pick the potato straight up from the pot onto the plate. What spatula? What spatula? Where's the spatula? You didn't mention... Where's the spatula? Where do I get a spatula? Fry the steak for 60 seconds. It's been 60... Okay, take it. Take it off the heat, man. Pick up the potato straight from the pot onto the plate. Okay, well, I got... Where do I... Where's a... I gotta get a plate. Give me a plate. Plate. Pick up the potato straight from the pot... <laughs> I swear to God, I'll find you and I'll kill you. Put it there. Give me a, a plate. Deep, basic plate. Okay, get get them potatoes out. Don't put it... No, don't put the plate in the bowl. Get the... Frick, get there. Put it... Put the, okay, okay, put that there. I, I don't know how to get a spatula. Where is... Is it... Oh my God, there it is. Okay, got it. Everything's cool now. Troop! Troop! What? Why is it... How do I lower it? That looks so stupid! Put this down! Just do it with your hand! Just make... You can make... You can... You can make it look much prettier. Whatever. It's fine. Okay. Is it... Are we good? Is it done? Is it done? Hold plate basic. Pick up the potato straight from the pot onto the plate. I, I did that. Hold plate basic. With <laughs> there. Is it ready? Fry the salmon filet. Is it not fried? Is that not what I did? It looks done to me. Is this done? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! You're t I... You know what? Fine! Get in there! Fry it up, I guess, because I don't know. 
Can I turn the heat on high? Can I make this even hotter? He keeps telling me to pick up the... I don't, this is just what... I don't... God. <laughs> pick up the potatoes straight from the pot onto the... They're, they're here, man. I have them. I have the potatoes. The potatoes are here. I just... They're fine. Stop telling me to pick up the potatoes. <laughs> is it because I didn't put them on a basic plate? I swear to God. Didn't even mean... Somehow I broke that because I, I moved too quick. That's why. I guarantee you that's why. Son of a pisser. Yep, that's how I do it. Fry the salmon filet. It's frying. Do I need to flip this? Overtime. Well, you know... Pick up the plate with salmon steak. Here. Uh, give me this. Give me this. Put the plate on the serving self. Use the apps to pick the orders. Where's the... Put that there. It's done, baby. Boom. It's 19 seconds late. It tastes okay. <laughs> oh god, guest complaints. The salmon steak was too oily. It required 20 milliliters of oil, and I put in 21, and it was too oily. K. Okay. Jesus. Alright. No time for slacking off. The next order's here. We're serving some tomato soup. Oh no. Oh no. We'll need a big pot. Find one to make sure it's empty. This one's empty. All right. Pour in about 700 milliliters of chicken broth. Uh, okay. You could tilt the carton to hasten the process. You won't use all the broth. Uh, se what is it? 700 milliliters? Get in there. Get in there. That's pretty good. Okay, stop. Okay, put down on there. I, there's a little too much in there. Can I just, like, kind of... How much is still in there? Enough. Oh, hold on. It's got to pour a little bit more. Why is it... Why is it two separate numbers? There we go. 500... Oh, this is empty. Aw, oh, son of a pisser. Oh, that's... Oh, shoot. That's not good. How do I get more chicken broth? Did I... I, I screwed up. Give me chicken broth. I... I didn't... <laughs> It's fine. I'm the world's best chef. Just got to pour in a little bit more. I need 125 of this. Careful, careful. Uh! Perfect. Almost. Practically perfect. Put that down. Now season the broth. Season the broth uh, with salt and black pepper and cayenne pepper. Per okay. Do-do-do-do-do. Uh, salt. Uh, got you. How much? How much do I... 12? In to what's it at total? Because he keeps going. That seems fine. All right. Get out of here. Uh, black pepper. Cayenne. Six grams. Okay. Close enough. Give me that. Where's the other thing? Black pepper. Got it. Season the broth. I'm seasoning the broth. Got it. All right. Put that down. Cool. Take the pot to the pantry and buy eight tomatoes into it. Pantry. Pantry. What's a tomato? That's a tomato. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did it. And for the final touch, we need an onion. Onion. What's an onion? That's an onion. Did it. Place the pot on the cooker. Uh, hold on. This is dead to me. Give me this. Put this here. Cool. We need it to boil for 60 seconds. Keep an eye on the time. Not all recipes call for all products to cook through. So is this on? It's not with... It's on, right? Okay. Where's that timer I had that I almost used once? Okay. So all I gotta do is set up timer. Uh, one... 60 seconds. So that's... Is that... Oh, I have to use this. 60 seconds. Start timer. Cool. And that can go, like, anywhere. Brilliant! Oh my god, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. This is probably a good time to clean up some of this. I don't know how this got on the floor, to be honest. I don't remember put, putting it putting it there. Um, I, is there soap? Oh yeah, there's... Yeah, you can like... Th 
throw things through metal. That works. So it's like gonna wa maybe wash it. I can't put it down there. Sponge. Sponge. Just put down tool. I was... Okay. Don't worry about it. Just forget it. I don't... Just throw it in the corner. How, how far are we on this? Just a few seconds. Cool. Turn off the heat and blend the contents of the pot. Oh, is it done? It's done. Blend everything together. Oh, I know how to do that. I need this, probably. Seems I get the immersion blender. All right. Uh, turn on. Put down tool. Perfect. That's what I was trying to do. Turn off the heat and blend the contents. Okay, yeah, shut up. Shut. Shut your mouth. God, put it, put it down. Good thing I left it on. Turn off the... I turned off the heat. Is this... Is this good? Uh, this thing. I need this blender. Enter context. That's what I need to do. There we go. All right. Blend the contents. So move down. I did it. Add 100. Okay. Move up. Cancel. Get rid of. Uh, what's the other thing? Uh, pour 150 milliliters of sour cream. I fortunately purchased, like an expert uh, chef. Pour in. Sour cream. Was it 150 milliliters? Done! Almost done! 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 Careful! Good enough. Take a deep plate and place it on the counter. See, Dad didn't know that they were gonna say deep. Take the pot and target the deep plate. Press and press again to hold... What? Press it... And then... Press again and hold down. Oh, oh, I think I'm supposed to do it the other way. I think I'm supposed to put this down and then grab this and then target this. And then it says press again to hold down. I think I gotta like do it over here and then I did it. That was weird, but sure. That's it. That's soup. Take the pot and target the deep. How much soup do you want in this? Do you? Oh, okay, I'm pouring. I'm pouring, butthole. Don't say I didn't. Jesus, get out of here. All right, I got, I did it. I made this for you <laughs> to eat. Tomato soup. Tell me what you think. I'm very proud of it. Oh my God, wow, I did well. I did well. well good job, me. Guest complaints? Psh, it was too spicy. There was too much cayenne pepper. Well, they have bad taste. My god. Next order's here. Alright, I'm gonna stop here because first 20 is already over time. I want to at least show... Why is there not... There's strangely not music... in the game itself? But just in the menus, which is a little... a little odd. If you heard any music while I was cooking, it's because Dan added it in post, which he may have done because he was going crazy. Um, Alright, let's go back to the menu. And, uh, let's take a look at what the sandbox mode is. I'm assuming they just give you all the fun to the, the fun toys. This is it! You just can make whatever you want. Okay. Alright, so, I will. Uh, you can go over here. Restaurant info, decorations, order manager. Order. Can you just order this? New order. So you can request an order, so you can kind of like practice, I guess. Okay, but how do you make it? You didn't tell me... Is this the recipe book? How do you... Is, is that what this is? I don't know what this is. What is this? <laughs> you didn't tell me how to make... This will... This will keep you... Oh, I have to... Oh! That's why there was no music. Because it... You have to turn it on. Well, whatever. Um, okay, so... It doesn't actually... It doesn't tell me how to make it. Fried shrimp. Oh, there it is. Oh, I get it. Add to a pan butter, salt, black pepper, shrimp. Fry for 50 seconds. Transfer everything into a deep plate. Serve hot. Lemon quarters. Parsley garnish. Oh my god, this is easy as pie. This is so easy. Add to a pan. So, here's a pan. Uh, doesn't matter what pan, doesn't matter. Pan's not important. Uh, so we just, uh, throw a pan on here. Boom, 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 skadoopa! Make that pan real hot. Just need me some butter. Where do I buy some butter? 
I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the advice of the tutorial and move this around because it makes my life a little bit easier. And I'm gonna buy some butter products. Butter. Butter. You, butter. What is butter? Butter's not here. Spices. It's not a spice. Is it a liquid? How do you buy butter? Can't buy it from there. Is that just in my fridge? Perfect. Wonderful. What's butter? That's goat cheese. Cheddar. These are cheeses. Where's butter? Milk. Coconut milk. Sour cream. Chicken broth. Okay. You know what? I don't see butter. Um, I'm sure we have some. There, I found the shrimp. How is? How do we not have butter? Where is butter? Butter should be in here. It doesn't have to be in here. There's there's places in the world that don't keep it in the fridge, I guess. But like, where else would? Where would they put it? Nothing. None of these are. This is oil. I mean, you don't have to use butter. I'm just gonna. I'm okay. I'm just gonna use this clarified butter. That that counts as butter. Whatever. All right. So butter. Uh, how much butter? I don't remember. That seems like a lot. I'm only gonna re I'm gonna vaguely remember the. Um, I'm only gonna vaguely remember the recipe. So butter of some sort. Add butter. Salt, which I have. Salt and pepper and all that's over here. Black pepper. Crap. Give it to me. Black pepper. I need some black pepper. And personally, I like I like my shrimp a little a little um, a little spicy. Honestly, where's the old bay? Is there old bay in here? Probably not, because that's like copyrighted, trademarked. But whatever. Salt it up. Good enough. Um, let's see what's next. Uh, shrimp. Fry for 50 seconds. Easy as cake. Where's the shrimp? Shrimp. That's a scallop. That's a bacon. That's a steak. Where's the shrimp? There's the shrimp. How many shrimp do they get? I don't know. How many shrimp does someone deserve? Can I only grab one shrimp at a time? That's stupid. Put it in container. All right, so there's one. They're frying. Do I have to flip them? I don't know. I'm just I'm piling them in. I don't know how many shrimp you deserve. I feel like I should be able to buy multiple shrimp. Like it says advanced controls. Move vertically. You have to buy one shrimp at a time. I mean, I was just thinking, you know, if I get fried shrimp as a dish, sorry, I would like more than like six shrimp, you know. And these are gonna these are gonna cook real fast. Oh, I bet you know what you're supposed to do. You're probably supposed to like prep it, so you put it all in like a thing, and then you put it in there. All right, those are uh, that's happening. Um, do I get? Where's the? Uh, where's the? Oh, look at his tongs. Look at the little tongs. That's cute. Sure. Uh, how do I? How do I do this? I'll just fry up the tongs. That's good. Pick up product. And then throw in there all... Whatever. It's been 50 seconds, right? It seems about right. Uh, transfer everything into a deep plate and serve hot. It's hot. Did they get... Did they... They don't look fried, really. Um, were they supposed to be... Clarified... But oh, I did that. Clarified butter. So I don't think I added enough butter. Where did I put that butter? I think I broke it. In a violent rage. Um, does this have, this might still have some butter on it. Let me turn that down. Turn off that heat. Is there more butter of some sort? Avocado oil, olive oil. No, honey. <laughs> Water. Well, shoot. Oh, I left this open again. Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Just give me a plate. I need a deep. No, that's not it. Sorry. A deep plate. Deep plate basic. Wonderful. Okay, so I just put it here. Take the contents of this. Enter context. Just gonna put them boop. Right in there. Perfect. Wonderful. Looks like I did a really great job with the plating. Just kinda kinda that one's I think is still raw. <laughs> Pick up product. Please. It I can't for some reason. Put it down. Sorry, that one fell on the floor. Can I get can I I can't I can't get these. It's like, no, you... Okay, well, that's almost food. Uh, what's the other part of this I need? Um, a lemon into quarters, transfer on a plate. Oh, that's easy. That's no problem at all. Uh, lemon was down here. 
Let me just reach in and grab one of these. Put that on the cutting board. Grab a knife. Go into context. Uh, time. Uh, boom. Boom. Perfect. Throw that through the window. Uh, and then, let's see, what is it? I have to, like, do something where I can somehow... Oh, no, no, no. I have to pick up the plate first. Then I come over here. Then I do this. And then they all go on here. Perfect. And then what is it? I need a parsley. 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 That's over here. Parsley. Um, buy. 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 Look at that. Fried shrimp. Boom. <laughs> Take a photo of that. Wow. Have you ever seen anything <laughs> resembling this? You get four shrimp. Um, one is is raw. And you get more you get more lemon than you get shrimp. Perfect. Send it out. Welcome to my restaurant. <laughs> Two and a half stars. That means it tasted pretty mediocre, which is okay. Flavors. There was too much salt, there was too much black pepper, and too much butter. <laughs> my lemon quarters technique was lemon. <laughs> so in other words, I did fine. My God, uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. This this game is uh, this game is funny. It's actually really involved. Uh, it's kind of surprising how much there is to it. Uh, I'm also curious if I pick this up if I can play darts with a knife. Press to start. Oh! But there are no darts. Where are the? I, it's funny that they built this in. I just don't know how to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to want to come to my restaurant. Uh, if you're interested in this game, you can pick it up uh, using the link uh, down below for Steam. Um, otherwise, if you've played this game yourself, be sure to let your fellow commenters know so they can make an informed purchase decision. That being said, I feel like I've, I basically have shown what the game is. Uh, what you see is what you get. It is a cooking simulator. It's actually pretty neat. It's, uh, you know, you have to find the humor and the love within a physics-based game. Uh, those are not for everyone, but if they're for you, then you've got one where you can make probably fairly disgusting things. Can Do these splat? Because they should, right? God, I still have... <laughs> I meant to have this go out with the shrimp. I really wanted this to go out with the shrimp, but I couldn't do it, which is a shame. All right, I'm done. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week for more Steve Place, verse 20.